Welcome to the video YouTube. Hope you guys are doing well. So have you got a storage limit applied to your account, meaning you're only allowed a certain amount of inventory in FBA centers, meaning you can't send more stock in? Well, I've seemed to have found a solution to that problem. Myself, I had a storage limit applied to my account and I was able to get around that literally like that. So I wanna share with you guys how I did it. We're gonna jump into my seller central. I'm gonna show you what I did. Again, if you want to send more inventory in for December or moving into January, which a lot of you likely will, um, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. So hope you guys enjoy. Please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next one. Right guys, so as I mentioned in the introduction to the video, this video is going to be intended for people who are unable to send any more units into Amazon FBA. So you may have a limit uh, applied to your account for storage volume. And for example, it's restricted to 500, but you've got multiple products that you wanna send in or launch, and you're unable to either replenish your stock for an existing ASIN or send in further products. It can be a real pain, right? You know, it can affect your sales. It can affect the growth of your business. And some of the times it seems pretty willy nilly how they apply these restrictions, right? So to note now, there are other ways to, uh, over time, uh, increase this restriction. So namely your IPI threshold. So um, that's affected by your um, in-stock inventory, your sell-through rate, things that you can improve over time, but they can take weeks and months uh, to actually enable you to send more units in and to have that cap lifted. And this is a way that I was able to do it within about 24 hours without having to go through all that process, right? So to note as well, guys, um, I'd about a week before I'd had my um, my account approved for the limit to increase, they'd said that they were unable to process any applications and they for anyone, and they were unable to increase this limit, they were shut on doing that. So that was obviously wrong from them. They, they weren't restricted in doing that and they were able to do it a few days later. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So literally go into get support in the help menu, selling on Amazon, browse for another issue, fulfillment by Amazon, and click on other FBA issue. Be sure to follow this exact route. It's what we found uh, seems to be working. Uh, it gets to the right people. Other ways, for example, if you go into your account issues with things like products or inventory, it doesn't work. So follow that route. Now I'm actually gonna show you the exact case log that I had with them and show you what I sent. So copy and paste this exact uh, sequence of sentences uh, into the case that you're applying for. So request to increase FBA maximum inventory level four, state the storage that you want to increase it for, it might be standard size, there's different types of storage. Amazon, we are still limited to X amount of units, state the exact amount that's visible on your account, what you're limited to at the moment, and then state our IPI metrics are all green, even if they're not, say they are, and note your score currently visible in your dashboard. That is all you need to send. I've gone through various different channels trying to explain the situation and why suddenly it reduced from like 10,000 to 1,000 overnight for absolutely no apparent reason. They just don't care. The key with FBA and with Seller Central support is be short, sweet, direct, and to the point and know where to go to ask the questions. So this is what I said. This was at one o'clock on the 29th of October. And I'm gonna show you what their response was. So you can see they responded two days later and this is what they said. We understand you're having issues um, with requests to increase FBA maximum inventory. After reviewing your request, we are happy to let you know we have increased your FBA inventory storage limit to 4,000 units, which was fine for me at the time. So uh, inventory storage limits help us meet the fulfillment needs of our sellers and facilitate the availability, blah, 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 blah. Um, but it's been increased. So the restock limit increase has been approved for 4,000 units that will be implemented within 10, day. it was 10 days. It was actually implemented immediately. So that, guys, is an example of being short, sweet, and to the point, saying those exact things, and immediately you get the result you want. Bear in mind, they just told me that they were not open to applications to increase storage volume limits um, for the rest of this year and moving into next year, which if I'd have taken that on face value, I would not have been able to have sent my um, units in for further products. So give this a go, see if it works for you, and let me know in the comments below if it worked, if it didn't work, if it's useful for you guys, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.